This is our activity that's going to show us how to transport water. We're going to have a funneling system. We're going to have tubes that can be attached. And once they're attached to the funnel, then we're going to have them wrapped with masking tape. And we'll cut the tubing and connect it with different funnels at different heights. And maybe tie, <clears throat> tie this to um, uh, a stick or something, but they're going to design a water transportation system. Now then, it's going to be a dry run. The first thing they're going to do is get into a group and they're going to design why they need this water transport system. And it's going to be in the idea of a water wheel. We're going to see that the water is going to eventually hit their water wheel, turn the wheel, and allow, uh, and that's how the water wheel is going to be continuously turned. Sometimes you have water wheels that have buckets and they collect the water and the weight of the water will turn the, turn the wheel and the water can be dumped in some other area. So they're going to come up with a design for a water wheel and the, the materials that they're going to be used will be anything outside that they seem to find in the, such as rocks, leaves, sticks, uh, little pieces of paper they may see, but they're going to design a water wheel and we'll have tape for them to use. And once they get that design, then they'll compete against each other to who has the best water, water wheel, who actually makes the water wheel turn best, and they might have a specific reason. A water wheel can uh, add water to a little pond and it may be for a recreational area. Whatever they decide, they design and they build.